<laughs> nice. Just breaking shit already. Hate him. Hate him. You want to go from this to this? What do you think? You think you do? We're going to show you. Disclaimer, we're just having fun. We are not professionals. If you aren't here to enjoy, this channel may not be for you. Reflector everywhere, watch your hand. <laughs> I already cut myself, it's all right. Wow, that actually came off pretty easy. Yeah, well. <laughs> you, you don't have to hide, baby. People have realized somebody else is here. You guys have made and don't remember our friend Anthony. He's been in a couple of our videos. Time check, it's a late one. 10.43. Yes, but we have our solo cups. Solo cups. And we got our live PD. PD. <laughs> I mean, and we're hanging in the and garage. We're out. We have an O2 Dyna Lowrider in here we're working on. That's our little guinea pig test mule for tonight. Solo cup rating. Are we gonna talk about what we're already no, on? No, no we're not. What, we're, what we've already had yeah. What for the job. Three. Three. Mm. And this one's for you, Bobby C. Bobby! <laughs> Here you go, Bobby. Just for you. So all you need to take care of the forks, Tanya. Now I did the other side. It takes a little, it's a little time consuming. All you need is a drill. You can buy one of these little kits on Amazon. Bag of that stuff. Comes with all different types of sandpaper. You want to go get the one with the variety. And we're gonna start off kind of coarse and just keep working our way up. We like variety. Yeah. <laughs> And then we'll end off with some of the flits. The most important step you want to do before we even start is I'm going to clean it good. With oh yeah, time for new plugs, buddy. Yeah, you wipe that baby down. Where's your brake clean, kid? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Probably like the most tedious part about getting your forks polished because... Yeah, so I mean, we could take apart the whole front suspension and send these out for powder coat or get them bike foam ones, but we're just kind of trying to do this quick and it was more of a thing I wanted to see if I could do because I knew I could polish it stuff, so I figured it was worth a shot. I mean, they look pretty good, so. It's not as vibrant as chrome, but it gives it a nice shine. Definitely. And I, I think it is pretty close. For like no money. Yeah, exactly. Like all this stuff was like definitely less than $20. It just costs your blood, sweat, and tears. And maybe an hour or two of your time. Then take off any stickers that you have. A little steel wool is your friend too. We showed you that with the chrome. Anything to help get this other shit off. It's your friend, huh? It's your friend. So we're starting off by using the red. I think it's like a medium coarseness in this bag of uh, little things that we got going on here. How's that working out for you? My peasants got me doing his job. <laughs> you wanted to do it, not me. Did I say I wanted to do it? I don't think I said I wanted to do it. It's okay, we're gonna really scuff it up, so it's gonna be really scary in the beginning. Don't be scared, we'll get that. We'll get those scuffs out. Don't, Don't be scared. scared. It's gonna look worse before it looks better. Yeah. So we can just see, so like we said, it's gonna be a little scary looking for a little bit here, but what we need to do is we need to do the entire fork with that. We're gonna clean it with some glass cleaner. Then we're gonna go to a finer. Are you even listening? Are you even listening? <laughs> <laughs> we split the work, okay? Yes, we did. So that's the red. It's all roughed up, cut. Yeah. Now we switch to our blue. Blue. We'll put a link to these little things in yeah. the description here. But you'll see the difference in what happens. We're gonna slowly start getting shinier here. <laughs> yep. Things are happening. So look at the difference now. You see how like smoothed out? It's almost like it's buffing it a little bit. Yep. Buffing out the... This is more sanding. You really know how to polish a tube there, girl. Hey now. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, we've switched now. Step three. Step three, it's like some sandpaper on a little foam pad. It's like some? That. Yeah. Some sandpaper? This is a 240 we put on there now. We clean in between each step. We're cleaning. Yes, don't forget to clean your tube before you move on. Polish your stuff. tube between each step yes. because you don't want to contaminate all that old metal that you've got in there. Exactly. Gotta keep it clean, guys. It's gonna slowly start shining it up more. You're still gonna see scratches in there. So we finished with the 240 on the front. 
And then this guy, you know, he needed a, a real man's help. So I just... <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what happened. You had these wheels uh, powder coated by the powder pimp, the same guy who did all the stuff on the road glide. And Prestige actually put on the brakes and the pulley and the tire for him. Did a nice job. This tire will be on here for about, you know, probably a week and a half before it's burned <laughs> off. Knowing Anthony. Right there, Anthony. <laughs> probably about a week and a half. Is that being generous, you think? Or even a little? Nah, I'm not beating on this one. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm just riding. Yeah, okay. We got to pull her away from the TV. <laughs> All right. 240's done, back tire back on, measuring, adjusting. Now we're going to 600. So what is this, step one, two, four. three, four, the fourth step. Yeah, you keep counting, buddy. 240, still kind of scary looking. Still, right? Still yeah, kind of scary. Yeah, when's it gonna get pretty, guy? Uh, you know, soon, soon. Okay, let's do this. 600. Getting shinier and shinier. Guys, this is a very tedious, very tedious process. So. But how much are chrome forks? A lot of money. Yeah, a lot of money. And so, a lot of work. So if you have the patience for it, do it. I think yeah. a lot of people, because a lot of people will say, you know, these these forks look terrible and you thought you could only just spray paint them. That's what no, I thought, honestly. You don't, you don't have to just spray paint them. Not anymore. You can do this. You can do this. Guys, FTWFYT has just extended an exclusive 10% off any of their products on their website to our subscribers only just in time for this pre-order shirt that just came out come in peace or leave in pieces you'll never see this design again so we don't want to hear you complain if you miss out on it get it by this saturday 420 on their website we're on grit 3000 now so good lord we left you at <laughs> what would we leave them at last 600 we went to 800 1000 2000 now 3,000. 3,000. But if you can see. Yeah, it's pretty smooth at this point. So 3,000 is pretty much where I'm just gonna level everything out. And then after that, we're gonna go for the flits. So the flits polish should give it the good shine. Okay, so the 3,000 I think is done. Still a you little, think? it's a little <laughs> scary looking still. This is the part where it starts to get better though. So. So the next thing is you want to get yourself kind of like these little wool pads for the drill and flits. Smear it out so it doesn't spray all over the place. <laughs> kind of just mush it around and then... You want, you want spraying all over the place? <laughs> <laughs> and here's where we're going to hit it. Oh yeah, look at that. You're going to see it turn like a dark gray color. You notice I'm focusing more right here than anywhere else because, why? Because this is the spot that you're really gonna see, right? <laughs> be honest here. Woo! That's two passes with the flits. Look at how dirty, that was white at the beginning of this. That was Good white. Lord. Look at that. Just oh, look at that. I can't pull it out either. I'd have to drill it. Why don't you just look at it? Guys, so. can you just see? Oh, and what, what would you say about an hour worth of work, really, realistically? Yeah, because what? Let's see, time check. Twelve oh three. But we've been also chatting a little bit. Here yeah, yeah. All right. So while we admire these forks, we still hit them with a little chrome polish too. That'll help shine them up. Oh yeah. And I know you're not the biggest fan of Dinas, <laughs> or the Dyna that we had. At least, right? But. This one's pretty cool. O2, low rider. Our friend here got it from someone that actually watches us. Yes, yes. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. It's the, the sun... Jade sun glow, right? Sun shade. What is it? Jade sun glow? Jade sun glow. There Jade sun glow. <laughs> yes. So it's a really cool color. It has like a bluish green to it. Since he's had it, he's done the 13, he's went up to 14s. He had 13 inch legends on it before. Those are sold long gone. We're doing a bagger Brembo swap on the front. The wheels powder coated, bunch of stuff. Of course, it has a saddleman seat. We'll get that and show that. We only run saddlements here. Also, you may notice the next thing that's up for topic here is that 
There's Moon's MC LEDs on the front. We can't have that in this place. We can't no, have that. No, we can't have that. <laughs> we, have a, we got him a new headlight and a new taillight. If this bike's gonna be in our garage for any amount of time, oh, yeah. eagle lights only. Absolutely. We have to get that stuff out of here. Yes. I don't really know why I still continue to wear white around here. I have here. no clue. I have no clue. Because I have like... Oh, he also did uh, with the hog ride a lay down play. We did... So hit the brake light, uh, the, the back brake, back brake, not the front one. Up. So it has a flash. The eagle lights will have a flash too. This is the moon. Oh, don't hit Rodman. it. <laughs> so this is why we don't hit the front brake. It blew that plug right out of there, fired it across. Way to board me. Guys. I said don't hit the front. You did no, you did not. As not you were hitting the front I brake, did. you said don't hit the front brake. <laughs> Alright, hit the brake light. Uh, the the back brake. Back brake. Got the front. 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 front. Alright, hit the right directional so we can see what this thing looks like. That's the left. Where, <laughs> did I not just say the right? <laughs> How many solo cups did you have? Alright. So that, it's human instinct when you grab a handlebar and grab a brake lever though. Edit. You're just grabbing you. Edit. Yeah. So, you're going to see ours, the Eagle Lights is far superior to the Moon's. Oh yeah. And we're going to show you why. Ready? ready? Are we ready for this? So you can see Anthony chose tinted this time. Ready? Very, very satisfying. So satisfying. <laughs> that is clean. Much Woo! cleaner. And you'll see, it's just a plug and play thing. It is, so easy. These are kind of actually broken, somebody. Somebody broke them. Over tightened maybe, who knows. Was not. <laughs> She's done this so many times. For anybody that wants to know, just stick the screwdriver on top and it'll pop right out. There you go. It's all feel, right? Tell me like deep ending a harness. <laughs> all right, so after we were so rudely interrupted, I had to put a wheel on. Oh, wait a minute, sorry, I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs> the stink guy from across the room. All right, we're gonna plug in our little. Uh, Blue is right. I think so. And you know what's the worst that could happen? We just. You gotta switch them. We just switch them. Ain't your bike fucking. Ain't <laughs> my bike. That's right. Now my bike. Now it's my problem. That's what I say. I think she's got it going, bossing over. Hit the key. There you go. Give those guys a nice little wrap. Stop ooh, touching. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> uh, why are you always touching? <laughs> He brought his whole workshop. Apparently, my tools weren't good enough for the. <laughs> you find the hole? I always find the hole. Did you find the hole? A couple times. Oh, I think Two so. Kids huh? say yes. Two kids said I did. <laughs> so, installed. Easy as that. Click that key on. Once you hit the back brake, not the front. <laughs> Alright, so see, we still. The Eagle Light still does the pulse, but look at that. Much better. Oh yeah, it's like... It's like the new Mustang or like the Audis. <laughs> Hit the left. That's a lot cooler and I think it could actually be seen. It just definitely brings more attention. Yeah. When, especially when it's like moving like that. Yep. Yeah. Definitely much cooler. Yep. Bright, bright LED light up top for the license plate. Yeah. Good stuff. Good Let's stuff. move to the front because we have... He picked out a special headlight for the front. All right, so the moon's headlight is hitting the road. Oh yeah. Because what better than Eagle Lights? And also with Eagle Lights, 15% off with our code. Oh yeah, can't beat that, guys. So this is gonna be the generation two. Okay, so you found it up here. Is you ready for this? Very, very simple and clean. Woo! That was a good one. That was a good one. Easiest thing, just plug in and you plug. Plug it in. You plug in, you play. That's it. Before That's it. we before we install this thing, yeah. it's just oh we always try them out. Woo! <laughs> Blind. It's a lot brighter. DOT always up top, guys. DOT always up top. You got Put the your ring. beauty ring back on. Looking, right. looking good. So yeah, here it's got a nice saddle and step up on it. Definitely age dated, but still a step up. It's nice. So we're doing something a little different with this bike. He's doing the Bagger Brembos. He got a master. Set. No, I will not put my in your house. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I asked him. That's it. Well, he did a master cylinder from like an 08, 08 and up touring bike, and then he did. Not one into two brake lines, two actual brake lines right up to the master. So, would you have to get a double banjo, right? Yes, sir. 
We'll see how we've never done this before. Let's see how this goes. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> it's gonna work. We just have to figure out how it goes. Jack. Time Jack. One twenty-six in the a.m. There's Gramps with his windshield. We got our brake lines run. Only thing left we gotta <laughs> do is yeah, this is fucking sick. It serves a purpose. <laughs> but the main point here is. How about these forks? Look at those forks. I, I think we did a good job. We did. I don't yeah. know what he's doing back there. <laughs> oh, I checked the brake lever. I want the brake lever. <laughs> and also, eagle lights. Yeah. Hey, turn on that how headlight. About you, how about you turn that on? Oh, yeah. Did my part tonight. Yes, you did. Yeah. So for two hours worth of work, we got the forks done. I, th I think that's more than worth it. You're going to spend a lot of money on powder coating. You're going to spend a lot of money on chrome. And you can make them look pretty awesome. And for two hours of your blood, sweat, and tears, Come on. Man up. Can't beat that. Man, Man up. up. Man, Man up. up. But the real question is, hmm? Hmm? I'm ready. Ready? For the Rogue Queen, do we do underglow lighting? What do you guys think? I mean, I think we should. I think it's a flex, especially with all the chrome. I mean, if you have the you right lighting have, underneath. Yeah, and you don't have to keep it on all the time. You can just put no. it on when you want to. Yeah, absolutely. So let us know what you guys think down below in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for the next one.